Evening, the new era at Maple Leaf Gardens has officially begun. Steve Staver was appointed chairman of the board of directors today, no surprise, since he now has controlling interest in Maple Leaf Gardens Limited. And Donald Crump is secretary, which means he likely won't be with the CFL much longer. The other board members are Brian Belmore, Ed Nicolau, George White, Ron Pringle, and Terry Kelly. With more on the restructuring and hopefully the resurrection, here's the FDL's John Bassett. The changing of the guard at Maple Leaf Gardens is now complete. Most definitely, it's an important day. Uh, we have a new board of directors uh, coming in effective today, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, it's nothing but better things ahead as we progress day by day down the road. Gone from the board are Thor Eaton, Ted Rogers, and Donald Giffen, who had been no, with I the club since uh, 1971. I, I think I've served here well, and uh, with the problems I have, I think it's time to step aside and let uh, a person that's able to provide a little more. That person is Steve Stavro, who now controls Maple Leaf Gardens through his hand-picked board of directors, but will leave the running of the team to Cliff Fletcher. Everything's fine, and we're here. We're going to back Cliff Fletcher to put a better product on the ice. Thank you. I, I feel very good that uh, uh, all the uh, uh, speculation about boardroom activity is behind us, and uh, uh, we're just going to operate a normal business now. Hopefully well. But the more things change, the more they stay the same. Shareholder Yolanda Ballard showed up at today's meeting but remained silent. Also still in the fold is Donald Crump, the only director to retain his position from last year. God, what a face to have to stay to. <laughs> John Bassett, CFBO Sports. Uh, all right, the new board of directors can be very happy with the current play of their hockey team. Last night in Vancouver, they were scoreless in the second when Dave Babbitt lets the shot go. Jeff Reese makes the stop, but Trevor Linden is parked in front. 1-0 Vancouver on a power play goal, but later in the period, Daryl Shannon the unloads Darryl from the point. Kirk McLean makes the initial shot. save, but McLean Peter Zezzo pokes it home. As he's being dumped, they were taught at one. Third period, Cliff Ronning weaves through the Maple Leaf pylons, uses one as a screen, and boom, glove side, 2-1 Canucks. Just 11 seconds later, Sergio Momesso gets some room to wheel. He puts it at almost the same spot. The Canucks win 4-1. The Leafs have lost six in a row. And let's hope. In what may have been the worst kept secret in hockey history, Maple Leafs President Cliff Fletcher named Bill Waters as assistant general manager today. I think it's an excellent choice. Waters knows his hockey and is a former player agent. He'll certainly come in handy when it comes to player negotiations, but they'll miss his expertise and quick wit on CJCL. You have to wonder why anybody would leave a cushy job in the broadcast booth, but this is an excellent stepping stone for Waters, who hopes to land a GM position someday. With more on the Leafs, Here's Scoop Bundy. Leafs captain Wendell Clark was out on the ice testing his knee before practice today at Varsity Arena. The team has lost six straight since Clark's injury, and it will be at least three more weeks until he's game ready. Grant Fuhrer also missed practice because of a sore right thumb, but he is day-to-day -day and should be in the lineup Friday night in Detroit. Actually, we strained the ligament in it, so right now we're just trying to get the ligament to settle down a little bit. Once some of the inflammation leaves, then uh, some of the soreness will come out. And also today it was announced that Bill Waters will be joining the Maple Leafs as assistant general manager. I'm going to uh, be responsible for the business operations of the farm team. Uh, I'm going to be responsible for a lot of uh, uh, public relations, community relations within the, the framework of the organization. And uh, generally, uh, I'm going to do what Cliff hasn't got time to do, I guess. The Leafs return home Saturday to complete the home-and-home -home series with the Red Wings. Then they host Minnesota on Monday. And even though it's early in the season, if the Leafs don't win a couple of these games, they could dig themselves a hole that might be awfully tough to climb out of. Stu Bundy, CFTO Sports.